everybody, this is JJ with Rotation Nation here to show you how to program your radio link to have a throttle curve and also to show you how to limit your steering to save the life of your servo. Okay, so today we're gonna to be working on uh, demonstrating on the Porsche. Um, we will go into programming mode, which gives you all of these settings. First, we will go to the uh, throttle curve. Okay, that's it. Just to go back out, it looks like it is number six. So let's hit enter. There it is, forward curve. Hit, that's number A, letter A, so hit enter. There it is. So by changing these values, it changes the behavior of your the throttle trigger on your controller. So if we change that one, go down one, change this one. Oops, we can... quickly see how easy it is to alter the throttle profile of your trigger. And we can do another one here. Go to here. Lower that one. Get a nice smooth curve going. Go back to this one. Lower that one. That way you have, just as an example, more modulation on the lower medium uh, range of your throttle and um, can make your car more fun to drive, easier to control, etc. Okay, so now for the steering, let's go ahead and turn on the HPI. All right, now back to the controller. We'll start over here, so we'll go into programming mode and then we wanna find where it says EPA. Okay, so looks like I already have tuned this uh, steering limit. So you can, as a demonstration, you can see you can see that the servo horn is not going past that position. Uh, it's not straining the the steering system there, and that's because I've limited the steering. So if we Turn it all the way to the side. Okay. Turn it all the way to the side. Go back here, hit enter. You can see how little each beep changes the steering angle. So it's gonna hit its limit here soon. There it is. Now you can see it's straight. It's pushing past the limit. Okay, so there you go. You want to make sure that it doesn't push past the limit, just at the limit, which on this model and in this case is 66. So what I'm doing is I'm holding the steering to the side and then adjusting the corresponding position on the radio link. And it's as simple as that. That'll save your servo and it will also enable you to program your car. I hope that was helpful, guys. Um, subscribe for more RC videos. Thanks.